Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at installing applications on your new Apple TV. So I'm going to swipe over to the App Store and then I'm going to go ahead and click on it with the remote. Now this is going to show me up at the top of the screen. I have Featured, I have Top Charts, I can even do Categories, View My Purchased, as well as Search for Apps. Now I can search for apps here in the search menu or I can also use the Siri remote to go ahead and search by my voice. So this looks very similar to what you would see on your iPhone or iPad. We have some scrolling banners at the top of the screen. We even have some sections that Apple is trying to show us, some new to the App Store. We can see some apps and games to get started with. Keep scrolling across and I can see different banners up at the top of the screen. Now when I start swiping down, I'm, you know, typically the same menus you see on the iPhone or iPad. I've got some new apps, different categories, and when I'm ready to actually purchase one, what I'm going to do is just click down on the remote control, and it's going to bring me into that app store listing. Now this one is a free app, so I'm going to see the get button, and if I go ahead and click down on my remote control, it's going to actually start downloading this ask me if I want to get it for free. It does offer in-app purchases, but now I can click get and it's going to start downloading. Now if we come out to our home screen, we'll actually scroll down to the bottom and we're going to be able to see that new app icon out here on the home screen of the Apple TV. Notice down here it's still downloading, now it's installing, and now it's ready for us to launch. Now it didn't ask me for my password and that's because I set that up in the settings. So if I open up these settings, and I come into my accounts, we come into the iTunes and App Store, and then go ahead and come into the password settings. I have this set up to require passwords always when making purchases and in-app purchases, but it's not required whenever I'm doing a free download. So whenever a free download, notice when we were in the App Store it said get, that means that it's a free download. But if the app was actually a paid app, we would see a price. So for example, right here on the screen I see this game right here it's a $4.99 purchase so if I were to do this one it would actually ask me to input my Apple ID password before downloading the application and if I come back into the main app store we'll go ahead and scroll back up to the top we have our top charts again like I mentioned before so I can see my top and free I have my categories, so I can see all the different app categories and then purchased now what's really neat about the purchase section is this also shows me applications that I've purchased on other devices. So for example, some of these applications down here were downloaded on either the iPhone or iPad, but being that they are compatible with the Apple TV as well, I can quickly come in here, find my favorite app, and go ahead and just download it again. Notice this one says install because this one is again one that I've already purchased that is compatible with the Apple TV and I see that cloud icon letting me know I can just quickly install it. And if it's one that I've never installed before, we're going to see that get that we saw in the beginning if it's free or we're going to see the app price if it's a paid app. And those will always download directly onto the home screen of your Apple TV and they'll be put down in the bottom position of your last icon. And then you can always rearrange the icons just by simply clicking and holding on the main button and then dragging the icon wherever you'd like it to go. And notice here on this app icon as well, it has a blue little dot next to it. That means the app has either been A, recently updated, or B, it is a newly installed app and I've never opened it. So that is how you manage and download applications on your new Apple TV.